My name is Timothy Reed. I'm doing my project on trying to find an alternative energy source to power medical devices. Ba people use batteries and then they just throw them out into our environment and damages our environment. In the medical field, um, patients have to go in and then have surgeries just to change their pacemaker battery. I want to try to find an alternative energy source to power medical devices. Um, I know a surgeon that deals with infections on, with the pacemaker all the time. To see if this is a true problem, I went to interview Dr. Atai, which is a heart, two heart doctors, Dr. Atai and Dr. Cross. I interviewed 20 patients at their clinic also. I, I did um, my sugar, my hypothesis is if sugar rich in projects are used to generate electricity, then they will produce more power and salt rich in products. If you turn to the pink tab, you'll find my data. In the first graph over here, the this is just waiting before so the bacteria can stabilize. In these two separate gra graphs, here's the um, sugar and here's the salt. This this is Gatorade after we added it. it the highest it was over 90 mil mini watts over 90 mini watts. It only takes four mini watts to power a pacemaker. Um, blood, blood meal went up a lot. It was a little short. It wouldn't power a pacemaker. Beef broth, it just it didn't go up at all. It went straight down. Saline went up a little bit, but not even close to power a pacemaker. In this picture, if you turn to the orange tab too, you can see my pictures. This picture, I am um, preparing the MFCs, microbial fuel cells. This is when I'm testing MFCs. I'm adding the solutions in this picture. And this one is one of the sugar products powering a little timer. Over here in my were patient fears. There were seven out of 20 people decided they had fears of their batteries being changed. Two of them had fears of surgery. They're probably the same thing, but you needed to have surgeries to change your pacemaker. So basically nine out of 20 people decided they had fears of having a surgery, which I'm trying to solve that problem. 35% of the people that have pacemakers I interviewed had complications. Here's a little pacemaker I got from the clinic. And in this heart, there are usually three leads that come from that pacemaker. Two of them go in this chamber, and then one of them goes through here into this vein right here, which is really hard to get into and will damage. It could damage, and if the lead breaks, it's hard to get out without an infection. In conclusion, I th my hypothesis was right, and, and find, finding an alternative source is next. Uh, we can either do an injection system or a filtration system to get the glucose, which is salt, out of the human body. Um, thank you. And can, do you have any? Do you have any suggestions for me?